Alright everyone, this is Andrew for GameZone. I'm going to be playing some uh, Dark Souls because, well, it's been out for over two years now. I freaking love this game, and the new one will be coming out in March. So, it's only a few months away now. Um, I'm by no means a pro. I don't do speedruns for funsies. I just enjoy the crap out of this game. So I figured, why not play it? Why not do a little playthrough? Um, alright, so let's do a character name. Uh, I've been watching a lot of Ava recently, so let's go with Ray. Sex. Let's go with female, obviously. Class. Alright. My opinion, the only two starting classes are Pyromancer because it starts level 1. Why would you want to start level 1? Well, because you can level up more and have more control over it. Uh, Pyromancer is personally my favorite, not because I like Pyromancy, but because it's level 1. The other good choice, in my opinion, is Warrior because it's level 4, which is still pretty low. And I freaking love the hard leather armor, which I will probably pick up off the dragon later. Alright, so let's go Pyromancer, Gift, unless you're starting Bandit, always go Master Key because, well, it makes shit easier. Physique, ah, Slim Shirt. Face, ah, Astora Words Royal T-Shirt. Hair, gray. So let's go, uh, sure. Color, dark blue, sure. Oh, light blue is an option. All right. And this is Ray, our pyromancer. And let's go. Um, yeah, there's an Age of Fire, there's Age of Ancients, there's Pygmies. Really interesting stuff, actually, but this playthrough isn't for the purpose of lore. Sorry. I'll talk about a, sh a few things, I'm sure. So, alright, we're going there. We got our fireball, which we can't use yet because we don't have a pyromancy glove. We got a broken short sword, which is wonderful. Dungeon cell key that... Oscar was kind enough to drop for us. All right, let's go, Rusty. Kill these defenseless men because that's funny. Uh, we can hear the, or actually see the other asylum demon just kind of chilling there. This guy has no idea. We're hollow. We're pretty gross. Let's go. These are the only enemies that basically don't fight back, so get your licks in while you can. <sighs> I like spinning cameras around for no reasons. Maybe because I think it's cinematic. I don't know. Rest at bonfire, recover HP. Great advice. Um, but like, yeah, like I was saying, I'm by, by no means an expert. I will die probably a ton beaten this game several times. I've actually beat myself to the point of getting all the achievements, because why not? Uh, there's our little friend up there. He's going to fall. I'm not going to try to fight him, because I have no interest in his weapon. I'm going to miss that doorway, and he's going to miss me. I'm gonna light this bonfire. I'm gonna rest at it, because I like wasting time. Skip over these uh, messages that tell us how to play. I'm going to get shot by an arrow. Gonna use a round crack shield. Actually, I'm not going to use a round crack shield. Whee! I'm going to pick up this axe. I'm going to equip said axe. I guess I don't even want it. Alright. We're going to two hand. Kick him because I'm rusty. Um, so with shields, I'm not really a shield player. Um, people like to depend on their shield. If you're a new player, shields aren't the worst idea. I'll probably equip the shield just to show options. But I like fast roll. If I'm not fast rolling, I'm not happy. So there's no point where I won't be fast rolling. This guy uh, tells you a lot. It's good lore. 
Um, you can talk to him if you're in a rush or you just hate him. You could actually kill him, which doesn't affect the game at all, except you kind of feel like a jerk because you just killed the guy that got you out of jail. Um, he'll take his revenge later or attempt to, but spoilers. Let's go up here. I'm going to get hit because I'm bad. I'm going to fall because I'm bad. Um, okay, I don't even know where I am. If you fall from any dis... Well, from a decently high distance and hit roll right as you land, you will take less damage. Good to know. He gave us the key to go forth. I have my Eskis Flask equipped, which will heal me. This is a Pyromancy Glove, which I would not normally use, but for the sake of this video and helping people, I will use it. Um, so let's equip that. Let's equip it in my weapon hand. So now to equip, to, I put it in my weapon hand, which is right uh, direction. So boom, we got a pyromantic glove. No pyromantic glove, pyromantic glove, no pyromantic glove. Here, I'll use it just because of uh, my spell's top. I only have one right now. I fireball eight. So he missed, so he's going to get a fireball to the face. It's not really my style. I'm not a huge guy into the magic. Um, but that's all preference. That was a really early roll. Um, I'm just a shield guy that's basically just here. I'm going to attack him with no stamina. I'm going to break his poise. I'm going to stab him in his face. Okay. Got some souls. This guy, there's usually a message that says, yeah, while falling, plunging attack, which is right bumper, which is weak attack. So we're going to do that. I'm going to heal up beforehand, because why not? Uh, I think he, he just do something. All right. There he is. I'm going to plunging attack. It's going to take a good chunk of his health away. See, I didn't quit my shield because you do more damage when you two-hand. And this guy, I'm not going to block his attacks with a cracked round shield. So this guy basically just waits till he attacks like that, roll, I actually got hit, and take a few swings. Just get your timing down, roll when he attacks. Sometimes we'll do this butt bounce thing, this. After he lands, go in. If you run into him, he'll actually hurt you. Don't miss three times while swinging. Just keep attacking him, and that's basically it. If you want to take it a little easier, you can equip your Pyromancy Flame. Kind of do the same thing. Don't get ballsy. Wait till he attacks. Whiff. Run up. Fireball. Easy as crap. Um, this guy kind of gauges a lot of new players on, or introduces them to how tough these bosses are. Like, I made that kind of seem easy. Um, I guarantee you I died the first time I played. Because I didn't know all the tricks or whatnot. Um, and that's it. He gives you a key. If you kill him the first time, he gives you a cool hammer on New Game Plus. That requires a ton of strength to use. I have no interest in that. Good job. Go straight ahead. All right. Back to two-handing. And we are done. We are done with the Undead Asylum. Mr. Crow? Only... Only in the ancient lands is it stated. stated. That one day, one day an undead, undead shall be chosen. Pretty badass. And then we are going to everyone's favorite zone, Fire Link Shrine. This is the most important message in the game. And Lodron, level up and kindle at bonfires. That's basically your direction for this game. Nothing tells you what to do, where to go what to build, how to play. It's just in Laudron, level up and kindle at bonfires. That is your direction for beating this entire game. So, well, bonfire is lit already. We rested at it. Can't actually be kindled because we're hollowed. Uh, any bonfire that has a firekeeper is already kindled once. Normal bonfires have five, give you five Eskis flasks. This one gives you 10. Which means there's a fire keeper, and she is actually chilling right here. She doesn't have a tongue, so she can't talk. But she can reinforce your Eskis flasks if you wish. 
but you need the Firekeeper Soul, which I do not have. Um, Eskis Flask heal you. I have full health right now. But resting at bonfires will fill them back up. You can see it go from 8 to 10. And they'll also respawn all the enemies, which is a huge pain in the butt. Are great if you're farming. So, that's it for now. Um, when I come back, we're going to go get some items in this area to help you out. So, and then kind of trudge on towards the Taurus Demon way the crap over there. Alright, farewell and see you in the next episode.